All right, welcome back, watch fans. We got a special episode for you today. This is going to be actually part of our regular series. Uh, this is the uh, the collection reviews. That's right. We're, we are back with the brutal watch reviews, and um, today we are covering a uh, pretty interesting collection. We're covering the collection of it is called Miami Watch Collection. Miami watch collection, uh, and uh, we'll go through. We got some interesting watches, some heavy hitters. We got some heavy hitters, and uh, let's uh, yeah, I'll, I'll share with you kind of my my opinion on the collection and uh, yours as well. And look, the whole idea is the whole idea of these videos is really to you know learn about what's new in watches, see what's out there, see interesting examples, see them presented in an interesting way. Uh, this is, you know, really an educational experience. That's what it's all about. And what are we doing in terms of our rating system? The rating system is based on quality of the collection. In other words, what's the kind of quality of the watches, right? Um, photo creativity. Yeah, it's Instagram. Yeah, I want to see creative photos. Uh, upside potential. Yeah, I mean, we, we kind of want to see interesting watches that, you know, have potentially uh, upside potential. Uh, and um, the watch choices, you know, is it interesting, right? Are they interesting watches? So, you know, I don't, I don't want to cover like the basic, you know, the basic Rolex, basic Submariner, things like that, things that we can see anywhere. You know, I'd like to see interesting watches that you're not going to find uh, or watches presented in an interesting way. Uh, that's what this is really about. Or even maybe let's say you have a, a watch uh at least if it's a dress watch, put it on a interesting strap, right? That's what this is about. So let's get into it and make sure to share your opinion. Uh, let's dive right into this. Okay, here we go. We got, uh, let me pop this open over here. Let me get this on the full screen. Okay, starting off, starting off, we have the, we got the, Potentially perpetual chronograph. Uh, this is the what is the fifty two seventy? Yeah, fifty two seventy R. Is this the R? Yeah, it is the R. Rose gold. Uh, so this guy is in Miami, uh, and uh, yeah, rose gold does look good in that light. You got to have gold in my a little bit of gold. I think it's something to do with the light. It's uh, things look do look better. Let's take a. Oh, we got. There we go. There we go. We're getting the uh, we're getting the uh, the full uh, video. So look, you got to give this guy credit. You got to give this guy credit for for uh, presentation, good photo quality, right? It takes some good pictures. Uh, good strap choice. You know, it's actually a pretty simple strap. I don't know who makes it. Is that a looks like a Jean Rousseau or somebody? I mean, not that's that's a that's like a basically a two hundred dollar strap. It's not a, a not even a two hundred dollar strap. It's is that a Patek strap? Even I don't even know. Um, pretty basic strap, uh, but it's elegant. It's clean. Uh, you don't have to do anything fancy, right? Um, really nice. I mean, look when you have a really complicated dial, sometimes I think it's better to go with a you know just a simple type of strap. Uh, we got Frank saying. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, I guess it depends where you are. It depends, depends on a couple of, depends on a couple of, couple of different factors, but we'll, we'll go through it. This, this is not just, not just dress watches. Again, you know, the Patek chronograph, you know, it's a, I would say it's a relatively basic watch in the Patek line. I mean, obviously it's higher end, uh, and all that. Uh, but it's not anything like too, you know, it's a you know, modern watch. I mean, you do see them quite a bit. It's sort of like, is it a hype watch? It's sort of like, you know, your basic modern hype watch. Uh, do you need to have a chronograph with your perpetual calendar? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I do like the idea of having a timing function. And I'll tell you who does a great job of that is uh, JLC, uh, the Polaris line, which actually is a, could be a good watch for Miami because you could put that thing on a rubber strap. They come with a rubber strap. Uh, it is a rose gold case with a blue enamel. I think it's a blue enamel. Uh, really pretty nice watch, and it's got a rotating. It's 
actually you could go you can dive in that watch i think it's waterproof to 100 meters and there's a rotating um rotating uh what do you call it? yeah sort of like the, on the yacht master the timing it's inside the it's inside the dial uh i don't know how to explain it but it's it's actually it's, that is that's probably the way to go if you really want to have um you know timing function i don't know the chronograph i'm not a big fan so let's but let's keep going let's keep going okay so you got some basic uh you got your steel uh this is the dual time i think again very useful complication uh i'm a big fan of the dual time i got a dual time i got one on the wrist we got the we got the j the jlc the jlc again great value jlc dual time here we go can we see the zoom in zoom in there you go that's 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 as good as it's gonna get now it's not about me it's about this collection so let me pop out of here um i actually a big fan of the dual time i think it looks a lot better with um with a white dial silvery dial this black dial i find them a little dull i find it's it's a little bit it's a little dull especially for miami you want you want more vibrant colors right uh so i give this watch uh on a scale of one to ten uh I'm not gonna rate them yet. I'm not gonna rate them yet. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so we got uh, what do we got here? We got the heavy eaters. Now, okay, I like this. Look, you got a pool shot. Now the question is, is this guy going diving in this watch? So this is the 15202. What I always get these these the reference numbers mixed up. Let me let me see. 15202 is the is that the 39 uh 5202. Uh, let, me, let me pull this up, actually. Should have done this early, but hey, why not? 15202OR is... Um, what size is this? 39 millimeter. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I mean, I mean they do wear They do wear kind of big. They do wear kind of big, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, beautiful watch. Now, in terms of the champagne dial i haven't seen too many with a champagne dial you know if, and actually you don't see that many you don't see that many uh ap's with a champagne dial right so it is out on a rolex it's very basic very basic actually looks horrible in a rolex here it actually looks pretty good i, I think it's you know, again it's that tapisserie dial it just looks so everything just flows you know because all the the geometry the tapis the geometry on the dial the the bracelet everything it just it's such a, it's again it's such a perfect watch what ap does uh interesting choice right a great great shot i love the pool shot with the rubber float great shot so i give that the photo gets uh gets a uh uh what do i get an a plus hang on what is he saying okay so 15202 uh let's see 18 karat gold, yellow, uh, oh, petite tapisserie. Uh, okay, so that's a boutique exclusive. That's why I haven't seen it. So look, I don't know everything about AP, right? So it's a boutique exclusive. Wow. That is, that it definitely is a 70s vibe, you know, the champagne. But I got to tell you something, this new, this is such, so much better so much better than what rolex does i think it's because of the tapisserie uh because it reflects the light you see you get that white you got the pop i mean just the way the dial plays with the light just the way everything plays with the light it's incredible look he's got it over hanging over the pool now the question is would you swim with that watch on that is a question i don't know about that uh this watch i give it an a i give it an a you know i give it an a um I think it's I think it's a more interesting choice than the blue dial. The blue dial would be kind of basic, right? Kind of basic. Okay, now moving on, moving on. Uh we got a we got the what are they called? The El Jefe, El Jefe, the boss. In case you don't speak uh para espanol. Uh the El Jefe. Now I don't know this watch I think this is a, I think this watch is the garbage sorry this watch to me is just garbage uh what are they selling for now uh let's take a look let's take a look is it like over 100 still wait uh 5990 
what are these going for? What are these dogs going for? Uh, it's still over a hundred. Uh, I know there's a few like uh, I see on Chrono ninety five, but let's just say it's a hundred grand. It's a hundred thousand dollar watch now. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Is that a good value? Again, when you can compare it to everything else out there, when you can compare it to everything else out there. So you got a dual time function, which is good, right? You got a dual time function. Uh, you got a dual time, you got a calendar, but you know, you got a dual time and then you got a calendar, you pay a hundred grand for that. I got the same thing. I got a dual time calendar and this is a better movement. It's JLC. And this is nine thousand dollars rose gold i got a display back i could put on a rubber strap and go swimming um now again you may not like you may not want to wear a dress but you have put on a rubber strap there, again there's good rubber straps out there but this watch it's a very it's kind of a bulky watch i'm not a fan of it and the gray dial i'm just not a fan of that watch uh i understand it's kind of like you know it's a hype watch whatever everybody's into that watch uh but it is it does not it really does it does less it does less than zero for me you know that movie from the 80s less than zero i think robert downey jr was in that right uh it's so hot in miami uh hey man yeah you, you can wear a suit you got if it's the right suit you can't wear a you know, worse than wool, you know, fully lined. Yeah, if it's an unlined linen suit, uh, linen, you know, like this, although this one does have a little more structure, to be honest. This is, a, this is kind of an old jacket. This thing is ancient. Uh, but yeah, um, if you wear an unlined suit, it's no problem. It's like wearing a shirt, basically. Uh, as long as it breathes, right? The, you know, the colors, etc. I mean, you may not want to wear a tie, right? That's, I, I think you could draw the line of that. You know, it does get humid there, right? Uh, so, yeah. There we go. All right. So, uh, let's keep moving. On. By the way, guys, uh, if you are just tuning in, make sure, make sure that you get access to our free weekly watch market newsletter. Click the link in the video description below to get our free watch market newsletter in your email box every week. Latest news, prices, reviews um insider info on rolex automore p gay patek philippe independent brands and more we cover a lot of content that uh is not seen here uh on youtube that's right we don't we don't cover that stuff on youtube uh but that it is covered in a more sort of quick it's a fast read five minute read pictures mostly pictures uh yeah anyway check it out so Again, not a fan. Not a fan of the of, of the of the uh, of the El Jefe. You know, look, here's the thing, right? Why does a guy need to have two dual times? Is the question. Two steel dual times. Now, I have two dual times. I'm guilty of that sin. You got the uh, the uh, JLC and the Patek, right? The the travel time. Uh, but they're very different watches. They're actually quite different. Uh, so I, I I think I can get away with it. I can get away with it a little bit. I get, yeah, it is a little bit. They are both dress watches, coincidentally. So I am actually guilty <clears throat> of the same sin, but um, but uh, not. I mean, again, 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 money. I guess is relative, you know, because you're talking about a hundred grand. This is like what thirty five grand for the AP, forty grand, or whatever. Uh, to have, you know, there's just better things you can get for a hundred grand than the, than the El Jefe. Okay. Uh, let's move it along. We got we got another shot. We got another shot of the uh, perpetual chrono. But now he's got the blue strap. We'll see that again in another picture. Here we go. Uh, and he's got some some FP Jorns. Uh, F, these FP Jorns here. Eh, not a fan of these Jorns. Uh, look! Look the difference the the strap makes for that uh, same watch, the uh, Patek fifty two seventy. The blue makes a difference. Actually, matches the the moon phase thing, right? Matches the moon phase. So I think that's a you know good choice. 
good choice. Uh, I think that's that's pretty good. Let's keep moving. Okay. Yeah, we got some more basic shots. I'll I'll, I'll go through these real quick. Uh, if we're seeing the same thing over again, again, you got another blue doll. I guess what is this? A golf cart here somewhere? Something like that. Whatever. Okay. Now this is stunning. Watch. You got the fifteen four hundred. Fifteen four hundred O R rose gold with the that silvery white doll, which is, in my opinion, that is a on a scale of one to ten. What do you think of this watch on a scale of one to ten? You know what I think? I think this watch is a solid, it's a solid 10. This watch is a solid 10. Uh, now, especially if you can get it at retail, and I'm sure this guy probably did. I have a feeling he's not He's not paying, uh, he's not buying these uh, in the secondary market. I have a feeling he's getting them retail. Uh, so, yeah, if you can get this retail, great. <laughs> um yeah beautiful combination again the rose gold silvery doll now here's the only problem why do you need to have two right it's kind of you got the silver dial right and then you got the champagne dial and that's 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 redundant so there i i, I you got to take points away from that seriously you got to deduct points because that's a redundant that's redundant you can't have too much. I mean, that's like these guys who have, you know, they have like five Submariners. They have five Submariners. And, you know, I'm a watch collector. I got the the GMT. I got the, you know, Baron. Hop on. Are you able to hop on? Are you able to hop on? Um, yeah, the the white dots, silver white dot, it is, it is, it is amazing. Amazing. Um, and it, it it really blows away that champagne doll. Uh, the champagne. Why do you need two of the same watches? You don't. You really don't. Unless he's, I don't know, maybe buying it for investment. Who knows? Baron, welcome back. Hey, Colonel. Thanks for having me on. D did I miss the JLC uh, review? Uh, my my JLC? Uh, no, the the one that you did the video for the other day. Oh, oh shit! Uh, you know that was like an ins a spontaneous thing. I just saw this thing. I said I never saw that watch before. I, I've I've never seen it. Literally, I, you know. Listen, I don't know every watch that's out. I've never seen it before, and it's been around really two years in a different configuration. The green doll just came out yesterday. I haven't seen it. Man, I was so excited. About it. I was like, shit! I just got to, you know, I just popped on live. But what do you think of that watch? That JLC, incredible. Oh, I, no? I I yeah. I think I think it is amazing. At first, I thought it was like, oh, this just looks like the you know kind of like a variation of the the Patek, but with a tourbillon. And then at the end, when you played that video, I was like, oh shit, the entire dial rotates like 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 the uh, a resonance. And I was like, this is. I wonder how thick it is, but this is an amazing, amazing watch. It's watch, it's thick watch. Yeah, you when you see the side, look at this. Look at this. Uh, hang on, you see it on the? Are we have it on the screen? Oh shit! Sorry about that. You see it on the screen, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. So, you know, my only issue with uh, JLC is they do, they they're they're doing this thing, which is these kind of sport. They're trying to be sporty or whatever. I don't know what they're trying to do. So they're a little bit thicker. These cases, they're not thin cases. <clears throat> but then again, so with Patek is also the guilty of this. I mean, no, you know, these guys are not trying to be elegant and thin. Um, Okay, so this is the old one. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can pull up the uh, yeah, because uh, see, I don't know why they didn't. You know, last last year, yeah, last year, I mean, two thousand two, twenty two. Excuse me. They they did a whole video. Now they're not doing a whole video, but you see, it moves right. The tourbillon, yeah, move, yeah. It's crazy. It's white gold, right? And if you look at the details, that's that cage. It's almost like a cage. The world is floating on that graph. It's like it's all, it's a three. It's a three D. It's all three D basically. It's multiple yeah. layers. Um, it's a big watch. It's forty three millimeter. So, uh, it's a big watch. That yeah, that I'm not surprised about because it seems like a lot of watches with these kind of fancy complications 
uh, you know, I, I would say anything besides like a calendar type complication, uh, it it is it, it's going to be a thicker watch. Anything that's got like like a any sort of like minute repeater or any sort of you know like like yeah, uh, high end complication on. like don't that. Make, don't, don't make excuses for these guys. I mean, <laughs> eight back, they've all made thin watches in the past. They could they could do stuff. I don't know why they're doing, but look, it's here's the thing, right? Let's let's go back to the Miami collection, right? So again, this watch to me is a. A 12 out of 10 i don't know it's, it's just out of, literally out of this world it's a limited edition i don't even know if there's any on the market like there's nothing on chrono there's nothing online it's probably <coughs> excuse me I, I got a bit I, of... it's a yeah, 200 000... yeah yeah i think yesterday you, you were saying uh only something like like 20 or something like that were, were made or are available so yeah 20 at... 20 in each quarter Yes, I, I, I'm sorry. Twenty in each what? Uh, twenty, twenty uh, in this release with the green dial, and mm -hmm. twenty uh, in in the blue in the white uh, gold blue dial that they did, um, you know, two years ago. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I, no, I, I'm not surprised. Like, like just worldwide, like forty have been made, like ever. So, yeah, it's it, people that have these are they're, they're holding on to them. So. Look at the uh, look at the finishing. Okay, look at the finishing. First of all, I love the fonts. I love the fact that they do beautiful font. It's slightly raised, as we can see in the photo. Slight raise, and look at that. What do you call the sand? You see, it's what is it, sand blasted. The white gold is standing out, sand blasted, kind of. Mm. Yeah, like uh, like on the uh, dial of the uh, the steel yacht master. I'm the not oh, oh, the, uh, yeah. the bezel. The bezel. Yeah. Yeah, but the, no, but the way they do it is just incredible. Yeah, this is just beautiful. Actually, they do it. I think they do it. Let me see. They do it on a little bit to, to some degree on the inside of the um, the clasp of the um, uh, of the what do you call it of the uh, uh, JLC. Okay, let me show. Let me show. Let me see if I can pull this up. Okay, hang on. Can we? Uh, okay, my camera quality. Uh, Okay, so right there, uh, no, that mm -hmm. okay, that thing it's got it's kind of like got a little bit sand blast, slightly sand blast. I don't. Some of them have more of that effect. I think I think it's more of that sand. But no, look, it really this they, they did a great job. I think again these things are 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 are, are, are amazing. But uh, back back to this thing, it's yeah, these are great. So here's the thing, right? And this leads us back to today's collection review, right? It's all about. You know, the Ten Commandments of Watch Collecting, right? You got to have stuff that, you know, a, a collection where everything kind of works, right? Now, this so far, and again, we'll, we'll rate it, and please keep track of it because you're better at this than I am, able to keep track of what's going on. But again, we're, you know, we want to see, you know, a little bit of diversity, right? We want, um, we want to see, we don't want to see redundancy. Uh, so we're already seeing a little bit of redundancy. He's got two dual times in steel, with basic bitch gray dials, uh, which is boring, right? Uh, yeah. The AP has right, got the gray but dial. But Colonel, let, let me ask you this: for yeah. for all of the reviews that uh, of all the collections that we've seen, you know, uh, that are collections that are owned by men, you know, so I'm excluding Crazy Kirby here. But of yeah. all the watch collections owned by men, it's it you know it seems like they they there's a lot of redundancy in their collection. They have like they're like okay, I I like AP, I'm gonna get you know. Like, like all the APs. Yeah, I no, I don't see some guys do. I think it's it's that baseball card collector thing. It's it's a, it's it's the completionist, right, or whatever. I think that's probably women. Listen, we haven't covered women's collections or women's whatever, you know, shoe collections or whatever, right? I'm sure there's women out there who collect, you know, whatever they're collecting, you know, I don't know, uh, Manolo Blahnik, whatever they, they collect. The, they have a hundred shoes of all the same. They're all the same design. It's just. But yeah, it's that completionist mentality, which I find very boring. And this guy already has, he's got a couple of those. Uh, he's got the two dual times, the same dial color. He got two Royal Oaks, one in champagne, which, I mean, it's it's a beautiful watch. But then when you have the silver one, this is just so far superior, right? You know, yeah. why not just stick to, you got to have editing, right? You got to have editing. And here's what I'm thinking, right? There's a lot of heavy hitters. There's some beautiful watches here, right? Heavy hitters. I'm not here to to to, to you know 
uh, 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 to, um, you know, talk badly of this. I mean, there's some incredible watches. I'm just saying, um, you know, this should, this could be edited and you could have a really incredible collection because otherwise this could be a, an A plus collection. It's not an A plus because of the redundancy. And you know what? Uh, instead of having redundancy, you can have that JLC dual time that we saw. I mean, instead of having, I mean, instead of having uh, two, uh, you know, kind of relatively speaking, they're kind of basic bitch dual times, right? The 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 El Jefe, the uh, the Nautilus, and the um, the Royal Oak dual times. I mean, they're relatively basic. They're not. There's nothing unique. Here, you got something crazy. You're never going to see this, whether it's white gold or the green. Mm -hmm. um i'd rather have one of those than have you know uh the redundancy that's all i'm saying uh and, and yeah that's that's what okay so here we go so we got a picture let's keep moving along what is going on here so my uh i think i think he owns some no the, maybe these are not maybe that's his wife i don't know the the, the fp jour i really don't like that fp jour what are they called the elegant elegante whatever I, i'm not i just don't like it oh, uh, the, the quartz watch yeah i don't i don't know it's just a whatever i don't really care for it uh, okay, we got the. <clears throat> he's got the. Um, he's got the uh, Patek um, annual calendar uh, on the bracelet, which actually is a great choice for Miami because you know you can wear the watch. Uh, at, at the end of the day, you can wash it, right? Because you know it does get a little sticky, right? It gets sweaty. So, right, that's, so that's Colonel, the... what are your thoughts on uh, sailcloth straps? Um. You know, I have never had one, and I was curious because remember we talked about that. We were talking about that um, glasuta, the glasuta that has the sailcloth strap I, that I was looking yep. at. How fast does it dry? Does it get wet? I I don't know. So I does it get I, wet? I think there's I think there's different. Uh, I guess there, there's a wide range of quality and material. Uh, from from my understanding, is if you get the higher end stuff, the backing is either going to be some sort of Sometimes they use this kind of like waterproof leather for the backing, and sometimes it's like okay. a rubber. Uh, and then, but the top nylon material is supposed to be woven so tight it's supposed to be waterproof. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's that's good to know. Yeah, I, that's good to know. I mean, because I don't want to wear a watch that stays damp for like you know half an hour, an hour, right? So okay, no. so he's got uh, the thing on a bracelet, uh, which is you know great look. I think this is a rose gold. I think this is rose gold, right? Uh, I believe it's a rose gold annual calendar it's hard, you know, it's hard to tell from the photo it, it looks like it, it it could be a yellow gold it, it it's hard to tell yeah it's um the thing about this watch is um you know i don't know i, I, I it's kind of an older um again he's got so many great watches like this this one is kind of i i, I don't find it that interesting the hands i find them a little bit boring these hands they're a little bit old-fashioned looking. These I don't know, they call them sore, they sore hands or whatever. It's a little bit um, I don't know. This is just better. I think there's just better things out there. I mean, this guy can have a perpetual calendar, right? It's not like I don't think he's he has. I mean, he has he has. I don't think he's on a budget, right? I don't think he. I mean, you know, everybody's on a budget, but I don't think he's you know on a budget where you know uh, it's going to make a, <laughs> a big difference. So. <laughs> We got we got the Vacheron. See at the bottom, he's got the Vacheron on the beautiful, beautiful white rubber strap. Imagine how good that white rubber looks with a with a rose gold or white gold Vacheron, one of those mm -hmm. turbulence. And I, he has a lot of bigger watches, so I'm sure he could wear that. Uh, what is it? What's the 42 millimeter that they're doing? That crazy large size. Uh, but uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so he's got. Okay, we got the Royal Oak, which we saw. We got this uh, Patek Perpetual. Uh, excuse me, no, is this a Perpetual? No, this is the... No, it's a Perpetual. It is. A, I think it's a Perpetual. Yeah, it's a Perpetual. I, I don't like this. I never really like this design, this kind of where you have... The, I, again, the windows. I'm not a fan of the windows. Um, I'm not really a fan of the windows. But uh, he's got... Let's see. Okay, so th there is some redundancy here. You got you got two Vacherons. You got one on the wrist. You got one over here, which is a chronograph. Now, speaking of best of breed, 
I don't know. For chronograph, would you do Vacheron or would you just do a, a Daytona? I think I'd rather just do a Daytona, you know? I'd rather just get a crazy Daytona than a basic Vacheron chronograph, you know? I don't know. What about you? What do you think? Oof. Okay, so oh. my I don't know, okay, my opinion on watches in general is that even though it's a Daytona, it's still a Rolex. And and even if it's like like a Vacheron with a complication you don't need, it's still a Vacheron. And at the end of the day, if I had to choose between the two, I would rather have a uh, a Vacheron over a Rolex. You're a watch. You're a watch snob. You're a snob, basically. You want your bond. <laughs> you want to have a fancy brand. Um, listen, I I'm with you, but here's the thing. Um, I think for chronographs, I think the Daytona is like best of breed. Mm -hmm. I'm maybe I don't know. If maybe are they the most accurate? I don't know. But when I think of chronograph. That's the chronograph. It's 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 Rolex, and for Daytona, I think I think it's okay to have one Daytona. I think it's okay to have one Daytona. Nothing wrong with having one Daytona, one Rolex, so that you can consort with the peasants. You know, he doesn't have any basic peasant watches, right? These are all heavy hitters, pretty much, right? He doesn't have any watches where he can, you know, uh, go con you know consort with the the peasant classes. Now the chronograph on an AP is a travesty because we know that they're you know they have issues, shall we say? Uh, you know, the, again, the, the, it, they take up it takes away from the beautiful dial, the tapisserie. I think they're you know they're just kind of garbage. Uh, you got a, a Vacheron dual time. Shit, this guy's how many dual times does this guy have? He's got a Vacheron. He's got three dual times that we know of so far. They're all on steel. They're all black or dark. I don't like that. He's got the Langen zone, which is, I don't know, ugliest shit. Okay, this this shot here. Again, these are you know relatively speaking heavy hitters. I, I give this up. I give it a C, because you know for the money in here you could do so much better. You know this is like what is this is over. Uh, what is this like a, over a hundred? Uh, I don't know, a hundred grand plus. I mean, you could do so much better for a hundred grand plus, hundred and twenty grand. He's got another, uh, what is it, the chronograph? What is this? This is the uh, Patek chronograph perpetual. Is that what this is? I, don't, I haven't seen one of these. I mean, I've seen one, but I never paid attention. I never, I never paid attention to this. I never found this interesting. I don't know. Like, it's, how, I, it, it's kind of ugly. Yeah, it's too basic. <clears throat> again, we got to take away points here. We got to take away points. He's got some heavy hitters. Why does again? And it's redundant. You already have chronographs, perpetuals. Why do you need to have it on? And, and the Patek bracelet is not that. It's not that impressive. It really isn't. This white gold bracelet is not that impressive. Uh, again, you got the El Jefe. Kind of boring, right? This dark gray doll, very boring. Okay, now he's got the Sex Tourist watch, the Travel Time. Again, why do you need to have a Travel Time when you have the other Dual Times? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah, I like the fact that he has, you know, he mixed it up on a strap at least. At least the guy has creativity, right? And this actually is beautiful. The rose gold, this this Havana brown a little bit. That's a beautiful color on the on the on the uh on the uh, world time here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, okay, <laughs> look at this. Oh, he does have a Daytona. Shit. Oh shit. He's got a yacht master. This is, this is probably, you know what? I have a feeling that probably was one of his first watches, that yacht master. The gold yacht master, it's like a very Miami, I don't know, 90s. I don't know. This is, yeah, this might have been his first like watch, gold yacht master. And that's, that's kind of ugly, to be honest. It's the older model with the, that dial is, I don't know, the dial is the, the, this is not not great not great here's the problem with this photo right the problem with this photo is you have one beautiful watch which is this royal oak and it's kind of surrounded by relatively basic watches i mean it's taken away from that royal oak you know Uh, okay, so th that that also I, I don't know. Okay, so just real quick uh, to go back to the 
uh, the, the Tom Brady Royal Oak I, I sent you just because while, while we're talking oh, about yeah. these right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Another guy from Miami. Another another tomato can from Miami. <laughs> yeah. So so it's just, you know, the uh, a AP in general, it, it just seems like, I don't know, they're, they're just putting out like weird things. I mean, they, they've got a lot of like like misses as well as the, the hits, but but they're trying like a whole bunch of different things. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. So is this is the watch, right? Yeah. So hold on. Now, is this? I I, I haven't read the story or anything. Is this? It, did did AP do that? Is that a is that a factory thing? I can't imagine he he paid some some bus down guy in downtown Miami to do this. You know, I can't yeah. imagine. So he I, I I don't know. I I'm gonna. I don't know anything about the watch. I just saw it on Reddit, and, and then. Uh, I went to the, you know, they linked the, the person's Instagram on Reddit. And then I, saw, I went to their, their Instagram and they didn't really have that much of a description. So it's just like, it's just a one-on-one, -on -one, just like the, uh, I believe the, the Marvel watches that they put out were also one-on-ones. I, I, uh, you know, I wrong, but yeah, I was saying, yeah, this is like, you know what? They, they, they have done some shitters and you know, maybe they did it for them. Uh, it's very possible. Somebody may have, or yeah, it could be somebody ordered it for, I don't know. But it is, it is, as you say, a la poubelle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this is uh, – he, no, he basically, the watch is ruined. I mean, I don't – who would buy the watch? What, you got to be a Tom Brady fan? Are there, like, real super fans for, for these guys? Are there, like, super fans? I don't know. I don't think – not at that level where they would – okay, so if this is – it's his watch that he's worn it. Maybe if – if he shows up in enough photos wearing that yeah, watch, flipper. is he a flipper like Stallone? Is he trying to do a flip? <laughs> uh, he would have to actually like like wear the watch for like a year and just be like in all these photos wearing yeah. the watch. He's he got to be photographed. It. Yeah, he's got to be photographed with it. No, yeah, actually, that, that could be smart. Uh, I don't know, but but it probably costs so much to do it to to do it customized that if he sold, and there are actually no, there are guys who are big football fans or whatever, like Texans. You know, people in Texas love football, and they collect all that garbage. You know, the rings and all that trash. And some guy would pay money. Um, and Tom Brady is still relevant. He's going to be around a very long time. I think so. He's in good health, right? So, yeah. you know, uh, the watch, I think, is going to have value. But, yeah, it's it's a weird. Okay, so my problem with this photo is why would you have, you know, what would you have? Actually, no, this is, no, they're all different, right? You got... You got a couple of, you know, time. Actually, no, they're all different. You know, they all have different functions, right? You get a chronograph, you get annual calendar, you get a timing function. But, um, yeah, I, I guess those two Rolexes are probably his first watches. That's my thought. That's my that, that's what it looks like because they're definitely older watches. Um, but, yeah, that Royal Oak is so beautiful. Uh, okay, what is this? I don't know what this, what's going on here. I have no idea what's going on here. Uh yeah, these the gray dial is kind of ugly. Gray dial on, on a Royal Oak, just I don't know. Just I, I know why somebody might want, might think about it because the steel, it kind of goes. Oh, oh, hey, hey, he's got a Breguet. Now, do you? What do you think of him now? Now that he's got a Breguet, uh, and of course he's got he's got that Breguet, the the tradition. Of course he's got that one. Rose gold. Oh, and, and and on a nice strap. He's got a nice strap on it. We'll see. Maybe we'll see enough more shots later. Look how big yeah. the watch is. It, it, you know, you can't tell from these photos, but I think it's kind of hanging over the wrist. No, it's a big watch. It, it, it looks like it. Yeah. Hmm. So it's interesting because this is like you know what is this, like fifteen thousand dollar watch, right? Basically. Yeah, so I on Chrono Twenty Four that they're going for fifteen. Yeah, fifteen grand. It's interesting. This is a fifteen thousand dollar watch compared to his other stuff, which is all like real high, high heavy hitters. I mean, it's kind of, but it looks it looks like it fits right in. It looks like it fits right in, right? It doesn't look like it's it doesn't look like the cheap watch. If anything looks like the cheap watch, it's like the. The previous one with the the yacht master or the daytona this looks like it fits right in the collection beautiful watch no it's very congru it's congruent shall we say congruent <laughs> okay yes. here we go look how good that world time looks 
I but I love that that model with that uh, what do you call the what do they call the cock ring? Uh, is that what they call the okay? Cock ring? I think that one is it's called like an observatory hand. I think when it's got like the extra big circle. Yeah, I actually like it. I like it. I mean, I, listen, uh, the JLC is far superior design, but it's it's nice. I, I really like it. It gives it a kind of a vintagey type of look with the gear shape. It's 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 beautiful. Uh, I think this is rose gold. Yeah, it's rose gold. Everything here is rose gold, which is yeah, it's great. Yeah, the, no. oh yeah, his annual calendar is rose gold. So, yeah, see, it's rose gold. Um. Actually, you know what? It's kind of growing on me. It's the dial is just a little bit old fashioned, kind of, but because it's rose gold and on that bracelet, it, it does look a lot better compared to a strap. We, it would... Yeah, can we zoom in again on, on that photo? I, I just want to get a, a just another look at, at the the hands. So okay, so this I don't know this one it that it looks a lot like. A um, a blunt pawn, just just from like the, the hands, and the arrangement of kind of like a, of the dial. Well, I guess it's a normal arrangement, but it's uh, also got you know, know, that, that that plus minus power reserve. So if if they change the the, the numerals and the sticks uh, to, to Roman numerals, I you know you, you could tell me it's a blunt pawn. I I wouldn't uh, <laughs> I wouldn't uh, think twice about it. You just ruined it for me. Yeah, it does have the blunt <laughs> pawn look, but they all copy from each other. But good choice in the strap okay uh let's let's keep moving along here uh we got the long and zone which uh, again i you know again this watch doesn't fit in with miami you know it's like very it's a very germanic watch right like very rigid you know everything is very like you know uh, very look at the, the numbers everything is like you know i don't know just he's got some uh dog it's what is that probably it's probably a german hunting dog also uh maybe that's what it is right it's a, so it works with the dog. The dog is a lot better than this. This watch is, you know who the dog in the photo is? It's this watch. This watch is a super dog. Uh, I don't, it, does, it just doesn't fit in with the collection. It really doesn't. Uh, I, I, I can maybe, may, I guess maybe he wants to have a variety. doesn't want to have old gold, you know? So you got to give the guy credit. It's not, it's, not, it's not this monochrome look where everything is one color. You know, these guys, they have the basic, all the, all, all steel, all steel. You know, it's basic. Uh, okay, now, this is okay. Actually, this... Uh, I, oh, I think he's trying it out. Okay, he doesn't own this watch. This actually... Look, I think if you're going to do a long and zone, this is okay. A beautiful dial. Yeah, the, that and, is the one I think... Yeah, that's the one I think most uh, long and zona owners go for. But it, it, in my opinion, the, the most beautiful long and zona is going to be... They've got a Saxonia... Uh, what are they called the the ultra thin with uh, an adventuring dial, so it's just a two hander with an adventuring dial, but it's it, it's a looker. Yeah, I don't know. Look, I mean, the whole thing with these London zones is all about you know, it's not about the front. It's about oh, let me show you the back. Let me show you the movement. Who cares? Uh, okay, he's, let's yeah. move along. Let's see what else he's got here. Uh, oh, yeah, here it, we go. It, it just this. just just real quick, the uh, on the London Zona backs. I mean, they're they're nice, but they're they're not even really all that great to look at. No, they're I'm not. Just, they're, they're, yeah. yeah. I, I, oh, we I'd got rather, Doc, I... Doc Mickenhouse. Doc, uh, this guy could be your neighbor. This guy's in Miami. This guy's... Okay, now, Baron, what do you think of this? You got... Look at the look how well the Breguet holds holds its own amongst the P Patek. By the way, beautiful photo. This photo gets an A+. You got the sunlight glistening off the, the, the one of the, uh, the lugs. Mm -hmm. Late afternoon sun. The green. I mean, it's a beautiful photo. <laughs> yeah. All, all right. Just just looking at it, right? It. If I didn't know what what brands they are, I would rather have of the two. I would rather have the uh, the the, the Breguet. Just because it's, I think it's just more visually stunning than the uh, yeah it is the Patek. It is, and especially look. Let's, let's face it, the guys in Miami, so people, you know, you're wearing usually, I don't know, short sleeve shirts are usually, right? People see your watch. The the annual calendar is an old man watch. It's kind of an old man watch. It's got the old man vibe. 
uh, the Brege, even though the Brege is, you know, technically it's, it really is the old, but it's it's a it's such a much more youthful, interesting watch. Mm-hmm. And again, if you if you want to be one of these guys who likes to be flashy or whatever, you want to get attention, which hey, that's what Miami is all about. The Brege gives you so much more for your money. Fifteen grand versus, I guess, on a bracelet, these like fifty grand, forty. I don't know, like probably forty-five grand, fifty grand. Not a lot, not too much for Patek, but yeah, still like a much better value in the Brege. We got uh, we got uh, chronographs here. Eh, I'm sorry, the dual time. I got some guy with dual time. Eh, whatever. Okay. Uh, what is this? I guess this is not, this is him and I guess, I guess it's some sort of sausage fest he attends. I don't know. Okay. So, uh, okay. Let's see if there's any more interesting watches. Are we done? Again, you know, the reality is, listen, they, there's a limit to how many watches you can have, right? It's, and these are real people, yeah. right? Uh, it's not, you know, this guy probably this, I think this is, I think we've covered everything here. Uh, I think we've, I think we're almost at the end. Uh, okay. we got one more shot of the, uh, 5205. How much are these going for? Let me see. Let me take a look here. 5205. I, don't, I, don't, I never really understood that watch. It's got a little bit. How much are they? Oh, they're cheap. I mean, oh, shit. It's an annual calendar. Why do I think it's a perpetual? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, it's an annual calendar. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay, it's an annual calendar. 30 grand. The thirty grand or more. I mean, I, I in rose gold, it's more whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like this watch, uh, how big is? I bet it's thirty-eight millimeter. Also, right? Is it thirty-eight? Uh, it is. I think it's forty. Let's find out. Oh, it's forty millimeter. Yeah, why would? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Annual count of 40 millimeter, the big lug, so it even wears bigger. Um, I don't know. It's this is, I think it's kind of a dog. I think it's a bit of a dog. And these are what in the 30s. I would say the 5396. If you, if you want, if you're going to go with an annual calendar, why not just go with the 5396? How much are the 5396 R's right now? Low to high. Uh, yeah, check it out. Would you rather have what he's got, or would you rather get this? Again, it's white doll, so it's a little bit, you know, it's not as stunning as, you know, 30 grand. Uh, or you can go with uh, a rose gold blue dial. This actually is okay. Instead of the diamonds, you get just indexes. Mm-hmm. So forty, so they're roughly the same price. I don't know. What would you rather do? Would you rather get what he has that annual calendar, or would you rather get the fifty three ninety six? If the money is the same, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so I I'd have to see it on wrist just to see what the lug situation is. But they're both big. They're right both now, big. Yeah, I. Okay, so I, I want to say I'm going to lean more towards the 5205 only because of the, the date window. I, I, I don't like how the date window on the uh, the 5396 cuts into the, the subdial. Yeah. Oh, shit. I know. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, the thing is with the windows, yeah, the windows are kind of, they do kind of cut. Yeah, it is. When you look at the watch, it is. It is a pretty nice watch. It just, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, the price is definitely coming down on these. Um. Okay, this is the way to go, I think, on a bracelet. Now this looks good. For fifty six, look. See, here's my my thing with this guy. Right? Would you rather have, you know, his annual calendar? He's got that old man annual calendar. He's got the the newer annual calendar on a strap or trade both of those watches in and you get one of these on a bracelet and you have money left over. You know what I'm saying? It's like just a choice. Full set, by the way. Chocolate. Brown chocolate dye. I love that. 
This is this rose. This is rose gold. Yeah, it's rose gold. Yeah, I think this is a much better choice to go with this. You know. What about you? You're not a fan. You're not a fan of this because it cuts into the dial. <laughs> yeah, you that like the and I, you know, I I also <clears throat> like the 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 green dial he's got though. I I think that that green dial on the gold really it it, it hits. Where's the green dial? Oh, is that a green dial on that? Uh... No. I, on the other one, on the on his, on, is that a green dial? Is this green? I Shit, it looks it green, green to me. Oh, I think it is green. I think it is green. Yeah, I think it is green. Oh, that's the more expensive. Wait, I think it's green. Maybe you're right. I think you're right. But he has a blue strap. I don't know. We'll see. We'll take a look. I think the green one is more is more it, that one is, was kind of a hype watch. I think at one point. I don't know. It, it never it never kind of got me. I don't know. It didn't do anything for me. Uh, let's see. Okay, now look at this. He's doing. I don't know between the Langa and the Brege. What do you think? No oh, Brege. I I I generally don't like Alamanzuno. I mean, they they make good watches, but I just I, I don't like how thick they are. I I don't really like the just just the way that they they look. Except no, for the sex. No, no, I like the, the sex. Garbage watch. The garbage watches. Uh, but listen, you know you got to appreciate this guy. He's He's basically uh, the photos are great, and he's doing these comparisons, which I think are actually valuable for watch collectors. So you can see these things side by side, right? You can mm -hmm. see it side by side, and you could compare. And it's very clear that the Brege really holds its own against you know watches that are considered you know much more sophisticated, important, or whatever, expensive, what have you. Uh, there you go. Yeah, it looks really good. The strap is great. It looks a great choice on a strap that it really gives it a much more fresh look, more contemporary look with that, uh, I don't know, whatever color that is, taupe, I don't know, beige, white, I don't know. It looks great. Hmm. Great. His, the photos here, I mean, listen, the guy takes great photos. Photo quality, I give the photo quality an A. I give the photo quality an A. Now, what is this disaster? Special thank you to Watchbox uh, for hosting us. David. Oh, I guess he went to some event. Mr. Thanos. Uh, I guess they, they went to some event trying to sell you these shitter watches. <clears throat> I mean, it looks like a gimmick. Does it look like a gimmick to you, this thing? Yeah, it... it... <laughs> It, it looks like it's like something like Star Trek watch. It looks cheap with a blue. I don't know everything the, about the, 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 the yeah, yeah, tomato. Yeah, there's, there's, there are there are collectors that are really into that that brand though, the, the Bethune brand. People are like really into it. Are, are 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 they really into it, or are they saying it? Are they saying it? Uh, is it is it uh, is it the uh, what do you call it the um, the watch box people are trying to like, I, I think they got a bunch of shills out there saying, I, 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 why wouldn't they do that? Why wouldn't they have shills? You know how easy it is to get a shill? I mean, listen, if they paid me, you know, money, I, I would do these and say, oh my God, I got, I, I just got a Day Bethune. We got to do an unboxing. <laughs> We're doing an <laughs> unboxing of Day Bethune. Let's compare Day Bethune to my uh, Patek uh, Perpetual Cat, whatever. I don't know, whatever it is, right? Yeah, and then I and then after I do the video, I send it back to them, you know, and you know they send me I don't know how much would they send? How much would they? Do you think they pay these guys? I don't know. Pro I don't probably know. like 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 next to nothing. I mean, they get they get like something just to have to unbox. You know, they get make some content yeah. on it, so they got that. Okay, so but re real quick though, yeah. uh, I I was I was uh, watching was it the, the watch hangout the, the other day, maybe like two, three days ago, they had this guy on, he's a dentist. I don't know where he lives, but he, he lives somewhere rural I and mean, he's a dentist. Uh, and he's, he's been to watches and then his two big heavy hitters, he's got, he's got an RM and then he's got a Deb Bethune. And then he's really into oh. both those watches. I mean, not, not to kind of like, like collect all of them, but you know, he's got one piece of each. Okay, okay. So, so there, are, there are people that are are in, into it. I guess it's you know, for, no, from no, you know that sample sure. size of one. No, 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 for sure. No, no, no. I'm, listen, every watch has people who are into it. Let's just be like every brand has their fans. Uh, how much of it is real? Like, 
I mean, there are fans. I, I think I think they're just drinking the Kool Aid. I think they're drinking the Day Bay Thune Kool Aid. Um, yeah, maybe they like it. I don't know. Maybe they just like it. I mean, they've done some kind. Of, I don't know. Let's. I, I just think they're a fucking waste of time. Uh, it just tells you these dentists are getting paid way too much. <laughs> that was an RM. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and, and the okay. best part that dentist it, in uh, hanging like right behind him, he he had a Picasso. It was like a, a drawing of his uh, his Picasso's like secretary. I, I think that's how he explained it. Oh, okay, a drawing or, or like a print, a drawing or an actual drawing by with pencil or pen or or print. It 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 looked like it was a a, a drawing, not, not a print. It, it he said it was I forget what he said, but it, it was like one of seven or something like that. Oh, then it's a print. Oh, it's fucking oh, it's garbage. Yeah. I mean, not garbage, but it's like, yeah. I mean, no fucking dentist in in middle of nowhere is gonna have a drawing. They're gonna have a print. Yeah, they'll have whatever. I don't know, some bullshit. You know, fifty thousand dollars. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, obviously it's real money, but like. Fuck dentists. I don't want to hear about dentists. Uh, <laughs> okay. No, actually, no, 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 that, no I'm, I'm, I'm making a joke. I'm making a joke. But no, den, no, the, the dentists are very useful. Listen, can you imagine where we would be without dentists? I mean, teeth are, 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 are extremely important. That's like the it, it's one the, most important. It's a, yeah, it, it's the cornerstone of good health. I mean, yeah. You, well, you can't eat without teeth. And, you know, if you have teeth problems, you know, it's unpleasant. So yeah, good dentists are very valuable. Okay, that's it. We've covered this whole tomato can collection here. Uh, okay, what's your? What would you rate this on a scale of? Uh, should we do one to ten or A to F? You know, let's do A to F or or one to ten. How do you want to do? Let's do. Let's do A to F. It, I think that that's it's a softer rating scale, so people won't get butthurt. Doc Mick also. Doc Mick is uh, Doc Mick is also saying it's a Star Trek watch. Doc Mick, why don't you hop on? I think he's a um, he. I think Doc has some serious watches. I think he's got some serious watches, right? Um, <clears throat> okay, so uh, A through F. I, I, I'm okay doing brutal watch reviews. I'm okay to doing one to ten. But okay, no, okay, we'll do A through F, just like in school. A through F. Doc Mick rates it a B plus. Okay, and how about you, uh, Baron Red? I'm gonna give it wait, just wait, just wait, a regular. Wait, wait. No, no, no. We we got a rate. We got. We got to do this scientifically. We got to do it scientifically here. So it's um, it's based on a couple of factors. And Baron, I'm sure you're going to have input on this. So tell me if I'm missing. I want to rate on based on the ten commandments of watch collecting, right? Quality of the collection. What's quality? Okay, by quality of collection, I mean like, you know, is it like APs or is it Omegas? You know what I mean, like. Quality, you know, quality, um, photo creativity. By the way, I do. Yeah, that's important to create a photos. I don't want to see basic, basic photo. Create a photos. Upside potential, I think, is good to know. Like, which of these, you know, do these watches have upside potential from here? And in terms of the overall collection, what did I call it? I called it watch choices. Like, you know, in other words, does the whole thing cohesive? Is it not redundant? You know, is it like interesting? You know, is it like is it more stuff that's unusual or is it like the usual, you know, the usual guy who's got the, you know, he's got the Explorer, he's got the Submariner, he's got the GMT, you know, in black dial, you know. So, okay, let's start off. And do you want to add anything to this, by the way, Baron? You, anything you want to add? Uh, nothing comes to, to mind right now. Okay, so let's, let's, do, let's do with these uh, three. Let's do with these three. So, so. Um, hang on a second. We got a comment here. Old fashioned dandy. I bet this guy's got a pocket watch. Does this guy have a pocket watch? Dandy, do you have a pocket watch? What do you got? <laughs> and do you wear it on a chain? <clears throat> okay, so let's uh okay, so let's do let's do this. Okay. Um, okay, quality of the collection overall, uh A through F. Uh we, we, okay, so this is I think it's like brand power. So I would say it, it's gotta be A. He's got all the heavy hitters. Like like all the big names. Um. Yeah, I mean, in terms of, oh, oh, okay, oh, I should also articulate. The you got the good names, you got the the right watch from the right brand in the right metal. That's what I meant by quality of collection. Your right watch, you know, right brand, right metal, right dial, right. I think it's pretty good. I think I give it a B plus. I give it a B. No, I give it a B. I give it a B. I give it a B. Now maybe B plus because again these are they are some heavy hitters here, 
I mean, he's got some redundancy, obviously. He could do a lot better. He could clean it up. Very easy. He could very easily clean it up. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not, there's no like real, there's no dogs in here, except the longer, which is, you know, in my opinion, it's a dog, but that's, <laughs> that's just my personal taste. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, but um, okay. So you're saying it's an A in terms of quality. Yeah, I, I yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as an A. The only way I'd give it an A plus is if he got rid of some of the watches and then he got in some like like the higher end, even more obscure brands. Like like he had like a Vuitton and Lanin. And I'd be like, all right, no, this, this guy's like a like a real heavy hitter. I, I would I would deduct points for the Vuitton. What a, what a higher, <laughs> I would deduct points for that. I would deduct points. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. What are the what are the what are the punters think? The punters. Uh, Guys, put it in your input is invited. What do you guys think? How would you rate the quality of the collection? Doc Mick. Oh, Doc Mick already gave us the rating. Okay. Photo creativity. I'll just say it's I, I'd say it's an A. These are good, really good photos. I, and he did yeah, the comparison. I, I appreciate the comparison side by side. We got side by side comparison, which is good, right? Uh and yeah, we got I, the I, I agree. Great. Okay. Yeah, I agree uh, on all points. Okay. Upside potential. Now this is gets a little tricky. Like, you know, are these watches? That is gonna be controversial. Saying, "Oh, are these good investments?" Uh, okay. And also in the current market, where did he get it in? It at what price? At what price did he get into them at? That's listen. You make your money on the buy, right? Like, I don't know. He probably. I'm hoping. I, don't, I shouldn't hope. I don't know the guy. I couldn't care less. But if he got them at retail, then he's. In the money, right? If you got these watches at retail, they're all they're all basically hype watches, pretty much. So if he got them at retail, he's ahead. If he paid over, you know, he might be upside down. And uh, in terms of upside potential, I really don't know, to be honest. I, I mean, like, you know, the, I, I think a lot of these watches, like a lot of these, like watches that have been kind of hyped or whatever, like. You know the chronograph, whatever. I mean, they're great watches, but I, I don't, I don't see like these things like going up over the next two years, like from where they are today. Like, I mean, over time, I'm sure they'll do okay, like a couple percentage. You know, they'll keep up with inflation. I, I don't see them. I don't see them in, as 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 investments, to be honest. Now, if he again, if he paid retail, if he got them at list price, if you got if you got them at list price. He's ahead, uh, except uh, except in the case of the Breguet, then he'd be upside down bigly, <laughs> bigly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know this guy. I have no idea. Um, I, I don't know, but just uh, I, I always feel like you know when people have these extensive collections of high end watches. Yeah, you know, they're I, not worried. Like, uh, yeah, it's not about uh, like oh, is this a, no? I think it's it's real. Also, his collection. I mean, if you add if you add it all up, it's not like that. I mean. You know, uh, uh, relatively speaking, it's not a crazy amount. He's got probably, he's got, uh, it's probably about 500 grand in here. 500 grand, roughly, which is, I mean, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot of money, but, you know, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure the guy's doing okay. Like, I, I, I don't think he's worried, you know, and also it was probably over a period of year, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, you know, it's like, um, it's uh, and it was, if they if they drop, I don't think it's gonna affect his lifestyle. You know what I mean? It's like if these things drop by fifty percent, you know, like you said, it's a luxury. It's just like, you know, okay, he's what is he driving a Defender or Range Rover Defender? It's like a kind of a hype car, a slightly hype car. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's like uh, um, I, I don't see these as having like there's nothing here. None of these watches have like a real catalyst. Is what I'm saying. There's no catalyst for any of these watches to like move over the next year, like in a big way. They're all like they're all kind of, you know, maybe stable. Like the world, this is a beautiful watch, but is it going to be going up over the next year? I mean, they're they, you know, it's probably going to be stable. Uh, it might it might be kind of staying in this range. I mean, there's just th these are all hype watches, right? They're all. I mean, everybody who wanted them is already in them. You know, there's I don't think there's any fresh money coming into these watches. Everybody who wants it. Well, them okay. Bought, yeah. yeah. With, with the exception of the Breguet, which uh, which you said, you know, who, who's that <laughs> yes. guy? Were they out of London or something that are trying to hype it? Uh, there was a guy, um, 
some guy from Utah. What the hell is his name? You know, the guy, uh, Bruce Williams, I think it is. He's got a watch channel, big watch channel. Mm-hmm. The Brege, but I don't know if he, I don't know if he paid, if he paid retail, then he's upside down. I don't actually, I don't know. I have no idea. But if he, uh, if he bought it in the current market, um, I think it, I think that watch could do okay. I mean, it's not going to go down for me. I don't see that that watch dropping below fifteen grand. I think Breguet actually. I don't think Breguet is going to do any worse than it, than, it, than where it is. In other words, it's it's at the bottom basically. So yeah, I think I, things I, are I only looking up for Breguet. I mean, it, I'm, I'm not saying it's going to go. It's going to be parabolic, but it, it, it's at the bottom basically. It's it's pretty much. Hit the bottom. It's. I don't think anything is. It's not going to get any worse. Um, yeah. So but I. I don't know. Okay. So. So I was thinking. All right. Next year is going to be their 250th anniversary. So who knows what they might release next year, and that might bring up new interest in the brand. So. So you know. Great. You never know. Great point. That could be a good catalyst. Yeah. If they do something crazy, and you know they have the money, right? Swatch group. If they put some resources behind it. Um, you know, that would be, that could be a catalyst for this thing to move. So yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Great thing. Okay. Now overall collection quality in terms of, is it diverse sort of like a balanced, cohesive, like, is it interesting? Like how would you rank overall? Like, you know, there, there's some redundancy that's, we got to deduct points for the redundancy. Uh, but overall, how would you rate this? A, a through uh, F. I'll give that a C, maybe, maybe a C minus. It's uh, really. The, the, I think the overall, the overall feeling of it, it's kind of like, all right, you know, well, besides you got a couple of, of, of Pateks, right? And then you got the Breguet, but overall, they're all kind of like sports watches. And, and even though they look different, they have the same feel to it. It's got the hype. I, I, don't know, the, I, don't, I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, got it, kind it's of not the, like, the it, it, it doesn't, it. yeah, it, it doesn't really express kind of like, it's like, oh no, like, like these watches, each one's like an individual piece that that's like was selected it's because it's like, no, like I. I liked it for, for this reason or whatever. Yeah, there's no like person. You, you, you mean like there's no like personality? Where there's no like you know. It's you. In other words, we haven't seen anything here that's like unusual. Like really, like oh my god, I've never seen like oh my god, this is like wow, this is like you know maybe it's weird, but it's interesting. Nothing here is like really weird and interesting. You know, like like I've never seen this really with the champagne, but it's okay. It's a royal oak. Okay, I don't even like. It. I mean. I'd rather have the silver dial. I mean, I know this one is more desirable because it's the, you know, the boutique edition, the shit, whatever, but silver dial, I think, is better. Uh, oh, I think this is, this is yellow gold. Yeah, this is yellow gold. Okay. Oh, that's why he has this is <clears throat> okay. This is yellow gold champagne dial. And the other and the and this one is rose gold. So look, so they are different. <laughs> it's it's a, a subtle difference, subtle difference. Rose gold, yellow gold. Okay, there's a subtle difference. Okay, so it's not that bad. But still, come on. I mean, do you really need to have two Royal Oaks that kind of look the same? I don't know. It's a little too too much. Um, yeah, it does have that kind of like, okay, basic hype. I mean, I would say, you know, the overall choices here, they're all really good watches. I mean, they are, yeah, sure, they're hypey watches, whatever, but... There's no real do- like really bad dogs. I mean, even even the Langa is, I don't know, it's whatever. You, you, everybody, look, everybody's entitled to have like one, you know, just weird watch that just you know, like I have the Jacques Droz, which you know, it's. <laughs> every, I think everybody's entitled to have like one kind of like you know, dog dog with fleas, mangy dog. Like this guy's got the dog, mangy dog. It's probably an exp- it looks like an expensive dog. Um. Yeah, so everybody's entitled to have one. Like, okay, you, you get you get grace. Uh, like, we let you off with one, you know, thing. But uh, I would say, I would say, what is this? Oh, this is, he's got the langa. Oh, he's got pictures with the langa. Yeah, he really likes that langa. Oh, he's got the colors sculpture. Oh, this is so Miami. It's fucking. He's got the white. Uh, uh, yeah, I got. I, I don't like this watch. I don't know what you know. I, I guess it's you know. Every, look, everybody's entitled to have one weird thing. 
Uh, again, he's got so many other things that, that kind of cover it up. There's so many other, you know, really beautiful watches that cover up the, the kind of the dog. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe he, wear, maybe he has the Langa because, you know, if you have if you have a beautiful watch like this, right? Uh, you need contrast in your life, right? You got something like this. You can <laughs> yeah. wear this every day. You want to be the only way to appreciate it if, is if you wear, you know, a piece of shit like the Langa. Yeah, right, you, yeah. you know what? You're you're like like my friend that likes to go on on African safaris, <laughs> just because it's like he says going on them makes him appreciate what he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's like um, you know, it makes you appreciate it. Like, I mean, look, look. It's you can't wear you can't wear the breguet every day. Uh, you wear the langa, you you kind of appreciate you know the the overall. So I would say the overall like the overall collection. Um, how how should we say? uh watch choices you know uh what did you say you said it's a c i, I think it's a c yeah so, so i would say kirby right she, she's an a plus for her collection yeah she's like if i had to, yeah, yeah so yeah so if i had to look you know at just the collection like all day you know, for eight hours i i would i would have no issues looking at kirby's collection but this collection i'd get bored after like half an hour yeah yeah exactly okay yeah okay yeah so i would say I would say I'm like um, again this heavy hitters, but it is kind of like you know the usual suspects, kind of the usual suspects, you know. Uh, so I would say yeah, C plus maybe B minus. I would say C plus B minus because uh, I love this watch. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I really, I really do love the watch. The rose gold with the, with the watch. It really, it's great. It's just a beautiful watch, um, and. Yeah, I mean that's actually the only you know the only the only watch personally that I would wear is really that one. Yeah, I think it's pretty much that one. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, the only watch I I, I mean, well, actually, they're all very they're all on the bigger side except for this, which is again the old man watch. Actually, this guy's wrist, I think his wrist is about my side. I think. Yeah, that's a 36 millimeter watch, basically. It's a 37. Yeah, so how does he wear the thir this 39 millimeter? Does it look okay on his wrist? It, I think my wrist it's is about on, the same. Yeah, it's on the bigger side of okay. So it, it yeah. fits within his wrist, but but it's like it's it's maxing out his wrist. And that's a 39. It, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I have the same. When I had one of these 39s on, I, I had that same feeling. And I had a uh, – and with a strap, it's even worse because it flares out. So, yeah. Um, I would say I would say it's like a, a – a, you know, the thing is there is some interesting – there's some, you know, annual – I don't, I don't know. I would, maybe you're right. Maybe it's a C plus, B minus. I mean, it would be very easy. It would actually be very easy to remedy this collection. Hey, but then again, you know, it's, uh, you know, it, look at this. It's two, two, two tomato cans discussing something else. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it's not exactly, I don't think, I don't think he's concerned or, you know, I don't think anybody cares really. Uh, but yeah, this is interesting. Okay. But like, you know what, if I never saw this again, I it wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't remember it. You know what I mean? He, the pictures are great. I give him a, 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 he gets an A for the pictures. Uh, you know the collection. What did I say? The the quality is a, is a is it a B plus? I think B plus. What did I say? B plus. Yeah, because whatever. Uh, in terms of choices, I mean AP Chronograph is that this is that his chron? I don't know. He's got a couple of chronos here, which I don't know. I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't buy the chronographs. Um, and also the the El Jefe the. It's such an ugly watch. Um, Fifty nine ninety. But, but you keep going back to it. No, I just bring it up because it's so ugly. I just want to bring it. I just want to show it. It's just it's a dog. I think it's a dog. I don't know why this thing was like a hyped watch. You know what? It's, it's a big watch, and I think in rose gold, it makes a big statement. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's but it's just a dog. It's just a brick dog. Uh, I mean, listen. You know what? For these watches, he could basically have a, a, a Nautilus perpetual calendar, you know, the white gold, and maybe, you know, a Daytona and something else, and that's it. 
and and have some real heavy hitters instead of like you know compromises as Archie were like compromises were made. <laughs> uh, no, there's definitely no the annual calendar. I would dump. I mean, maybe it has sentimental value. It could be from his dad or something. You know, it, it doesn't fit in that annual calendar. It really doesn't fit in. It's like a very. Yeah, it's kind of a yeah. It doesn't fit in with these modern hype watches. Doesn't fit in at all. Yeah, I don't possibly. Know, I don't. I don't know what it's doing here. It's probably like a gift. So, yeah, it doesn't. Something doesn't make sense. Maybe it's a, who knows. Um, we don't know the situation, uh, but um, yeah, this is a beautiful. This is the, the rose gold with this like uh, Havana, the brown. That is, that's pretty nice. I mean, of course, look JLC much better. But if I were to get a a, 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 a world time, this is this is a, this is a way to go here because it is a vintage looking watch already. So why not give it that more, you know, the brown or the chocolate gives it more of that vintage look. And, you know, good choice with this uh, beige, like with a suede, suede strap look good. Brown crocodile also is good, you know. Oh, he's got the uh, the Gucci. <laughs> this <song>. it's, <laughs> it's got the, look at this. Wow, you got the sun. There you go. I think that watch probably is better on, on a, on a brown crocodile strap alligator whatever you call it, crocodile alligator um okay so this is 39 and a half look how big it is on his wrist he's got the same yeah so we have the he's yeah we got the same size wrist i think it does you know it, it's it's at the outer edge outer limits pretty much it, yeah. it is so, it, we're oh, I, i'm also wondering you know how much of it is going to be lens distortion Right, because he's probably taking his own photos, you know, with, with the cell phone or something. So. There is some, yeah, there is some lens distortion. Look at this again. No, but 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 no, but they all have they all do. Look at this. This is the LFA. It's big. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, so no I, I I think yeah I, I think on the Nautilus right the Nautilus gets away with it, but I think for for an AP because the AP is kind of like about the bracelet. I, I I think it you can't get away with it. You cannot get away with it on the AP. All oh, right, we got, be, Perry, be... we got Baron. We got a Baron here. Baron Perry. <clears throat> Baron Perry is a fan of the watches. Baron, say and thank you to the Red Baron. We got Doc Mick. You guys are brutal. I uh yeah okay so yes yeah, so we're look yeah we're not uh, yeah this is uh, pretty much you know uh, nothing crazy here. I mean it's. I think this guy Doc Mick is relatively. He's not a, in, in, uh, at the extremes. He's, I think, a, a centrist. Yeah, I mean, you know. So we're not we're not we're not being too too nothing too too extreme here with this. Uh, give me rose gold. Yeah, rose gold. Right watches. Yeah, you know, I think I, I, they're actually big watches uh, somehow. You know, I think also could be in the mind. You know, like. Uh, you know, if you're used to wearing a certain size or whatever, you don't want a, a watch. But maybe this guy is like he grew up wearing bigger watches, so you know that's the that that that's okay for him. I don't know. It's uh, it's uh, it. I, I I don't know. Oh, he's joking. Oh, he's joking. <laughs> I agree with how you value. Thanks. I don't know. What he's saying is he saying we're too brutal or not brutal? I don't know. I don't know what I, I don't know. I don't know what he's saying. But anyway, all right. So that wraps it up. Uh, let's see. You want to cover anything else before we we uh, hop off? Anything else you want? Any other current events? Sylvester Stallone. You want to talk about Sylvester Stallone? Uh, I, don't, I don't have any comments for Sil Sylvester Stallone and his uh, and his watch flipping. But he, he's getting rid of his watches. Uh, I don't know. Like you, you want to fill us in about uh, you know your your trip to New York? 